Hey all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up a custom domain to point to your web app that you're using Coolify to run. So, you know, Coolify is a platform as a service. And so it allows you to like manage, kind of gives you a nice cloud interface towards running all your apps on a VPS. Um, and so a very common thing that you need to do is basically to, you know, have a nice looking custom domain to actually point it to your app. And so in the last video, we talked about how I, you know, deployed 1 million checkboxes, which is, you know, just a little app that runs in a Docker container to my VPS where it's running now using Coolify. And we can see that Coolify gives it like a nice little um, randomized URL. And we can see that it's here inside Coolify. This is what it's doing. Um, but like, I can't tell this to someone, right, to use this URL, like it's just a random jum jumble of words and stuff. Um, and so what I need to do is give it the actual URL I want, which is 1 million checkboxes. And so that's what we'll cover today. And so basically what we have to do in order to do this is point our domain registry, our domain at our server using an A record. And then um, basically that is gonna route it to the container. The way it's gonna do this under hood is that Coolify basically spins up a little um, router on the box. I believe it's using traffic to do this. And so when we change like what domains are available here, basically what it's saying is like, hey, go talk to the box, change the traffic thing so that it actually routes the request coming in here to the correct thing. And so when I put 1 million checkboxes here, um, it's going to be like, oh, you're trying to hit this domain and that pointed you to um, this server. Well, I know what container it's running on. Um, and that's this 1 million checkboxes container that I have. So that's kind of how it works from like a very high level. Um, and so now we're actually gonna go do this. And so here I am in Coolify. Here I am showing that this is actually running on Coolify. And the first thing I need to do is go to my VPS. Um, so here I'm gonna come in to my Hetzner dashboard. I'm running on Hetzner. So let's go to servers. Let's grab my public IP. You know, please don't DOS me but um, I am trying to show you the public IP so that we're being as like transparent as possible. So we get the Hetzner thing and then we'll come over to um, Namecheap is where I have this guy. And basically what I need to do is go to advanced DNS and we need to you know get rid of the parking page, go to that, go to that. I mean, now we have no records. And so what we need to do is change it. And I've already done this for a thousand checkboxes.xyz. And so basically what we need is an A record we're using host at. So if you just go to 1 million checkboxes, it's like, oh, I know what to do with this. And then we're gonna point it to our server's IP. And so that's, that's what we're doing here. So add record, a record, at IP address, save, save, save. Okay, it does not wanna save. Let's let's refresh this page and see what happens. Okay, it was saving, great. So I have this a record here. Um, so like, you know, let's try it, right? Million checkboxes, not com, dot X, Y, Z and all oh, the site can't be reached. Um, and there's probably many reasons for this. The first reason is DNS is usually slow. So even though, you know, I've set this here, um, we can't expect it to work right away. Theoretically, DNS takes like 24 hours to propagate. In my experience, it's usually closer to like one to three or four hours. But like, you know, this isn't like a quick thing that will that will necessarily propagate. Um, and so this is set here. So we'll probably need to wait on this, but I have a feeling that another thing that I haven't done is set up Coolify to know that it needs to listen for this. Um, and so for this, what I'm gonna do is check one of my other services um, and see how I set up the domains here. I'm pretty sure I need to put it here so that it knows to listen for it. Um, so let's go back to, um, let's look at 1000 checkboxes, which I already have working correctly. Okay, so it, see, it says it has domains here, and so that's how it's gonna know. And I can prove this to you by going to 1000checkboxes.xyz, and you can see all of the checkboxes here. Um, and so this is working as expected. And then so what I can do is just go back to um, 1 million checkboxes and basically just say, you know, here, HTTPS slash slash 1 million checkboxes.xyz. It's usually not a good idea to type long things out by yourself because you know easy to make a typo so we will just come back over here and copy pasta it to make sure like this okay looks right and then we'll save it and so now theoretically when um, the dns happens uh, propagates it should be pointing to our server so the traffic will hit dns be like oh i got to go to that ip address server it's going to hit the ip address coolify is going to intercept that with the traffic proxy that's like on the server and that's going to be like hey do i know about this domain you're trying to hit 
and it sees like, oh, it's one million checkboxes out X, Y, Z. I know where that goes. This needs to come hit this container right here. And so, yeah, theoretically this will work, um, but we do need to just wait for that DNS propagation. Unfortunately, there's not really like a great way to speed this up, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll just like wait and make sure that this works and then, you know, pop on if it does. All right, so here we are again. I'm back after about an hour and the DNS seemed to work fine. Although when I went back to the website, it was giving me a 404. Um, and so that helps me understand that like, you know, we had gotten the DNS ready and so we are hitting a server but now the server just didn't have you know the right configuration and so what I just did is basically redeployed um, when I went to this configuration and I had added you know the domain here um, it seems that I didn't actually do a full redeploy which is required to make this work um, and so once I did the redeploy and then came back here the 404 went away um, first it went to like oh this page is insecure um, because it needed to you know go get the SSL certificates, which it does automatically. Um, and then once that was here, I could just reload. And um, now we have a secure site at 1 million checkboxes.xyz. So yeah, proof that this is how you can actually set up a custom URL on Coolify and a few things that you know you can check to make sure uh, if you're having problems. If you like this video, you can check out one of my other Coolify videos over here somewhere. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.